Hi everyone, so this video might seem a little bit out of the blue, but it's relevant, trust me. So I'm going to be talking about error logging in Unity, which as far as I can tell is something that isn't very heavily spoken about. And I guess that's because it's not exactly the sexiest part of game development, but it is very necessary if you want to fix errors after your game ships. If you have a good bit of experience with Unity, you're probably thinking, but Mr. Josephus, Unity already outputs logs from bills. And yeah, you're right. And you can see it here. You can see on Windows it outputs to uh, app data, local low, company name, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think players will be bothered to trek into this file path to send you a bloody text document, to be honest. Of course I could be wrong and, and they might, and that would be great and that would make this whole video redundant, but like I say, I doubt they will. And this is where what I've done inside the mead comes in. So I've made it so when an error occurs, you get disconnected and you'll get prompt, it's just loading the menu to send me the error message. So you can say no, or you can say yes. If I say yes. What you see is back here on my website, this error that I just forced to throw from the console and you can see the time 1743, you can see down the bottom 1743. It sends me the message and it sends me the stack trace. So how do we achieve this? Well, one thing you could do is log the error via an email. So you can see here, this is what I do on my website. So I create an SMTP client, do all the stuff, you know, enter your email address, your password, the server that your SMTP client should send to and the port, the message, uh, any other information. So this is who it's from and then who it's to. So what you would do is you would essentially just send it to yourself. Uh, and what you can do is just set up a, a free Gmail account and just send yourself an email via that whenever you receive an error. Of course, it implies that the user or the player has to have internet, but realistically in in the current, I don't know if I say that. <laughs> the chance that your players aren't gonna have internet, I think is quite slim because I suspect you won't be releasing your Unity game on a disc or yeah. So I think you're okay there <laughs> to be honest. And this is what I've done for my website and it's a, it's a good way of doing it, but it can be a little bit unorganized, but you have to have a mailbox that it just gets full to the brim with of errors. And it's a perfectly valid way of doing it if you want to do it that way. Or you could do it the way I've done in Sundermead and create an API for it. Now, obviously this implies that you have a website. Uh, so I'm using ASP.NET in case you couldn't tell from this, but you can use whatever you want. You could use Firebase, you could use uh, no JS, anything really. You just need a database and a website and you're sorted. You just need a little API. So this is pretty much exactly what I've got for Sunderme just without any of the security. So if I just launch it and go into the error section, you'll see it's the same as it was a minute ago when I showed it. But if I go into something like Postman and I set up the request with some test data, so YouTube chest line zero and today's date, and I hit send. You see we have a status 200 okay, but nothing in the body, which is good. So if I go back onto the website, see we got a new one. Now the time is wrong, obviously, but see we go in, YouTube tests, line zero. And this is all done using Entity Framework, which is a way of interfacing between C Sharp and SQL Server. So it's all done via lists and then link as well, which is really, really handy. Now, how do you actually send this request in Unity? That's the, the big bit. So let me go into my file quickly. So this is my error handling class in Unity. So we hook into any log message that is received that the Unity console will output, and it gives us this function here. So we can check the message, we can check the stack trace and the type. So there are two types we're interested in, and that is exception and error. If it's neither of those, we don't, we don't care. Uh, I then have a couple of checks to see if there are any things you know, I need to ignore. Uh, then I disconnect from the server. And this is the crucial bit. I ask the player, do you want to send it off to the server? And then if they say yes, I start a new coroutine, which is this one just down here. And we tell them that we're sending. We build the uh, request form. And then we send a post request with the form to the API. We wait for it to run and we close the box. And it's as simple as that. So in here, if you wanted to do your email, then this is where you would set up your SMTP client and all that fun stuff. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple to do and it's, it is invaluable. If you are making a commercial game or at least a game that you intend to ship, I would 
highly recommend implementing this as soon as possible.